I want you to think hard about the last time you watched a show and you wish there was more of it, and then compare that to uh, the last show you watched. What is the distance in time between those and what were the effects of both of them? Because I have watched a lot of great shows recently. I've seen a lot of shows that have affected me deeply or that were really good. Um, I just got done watching Video Girl Eye, and this has been one of the few times where I actually wanted more. I still accepted the ending, I still thought the ending was really good, um, and I'm probably ready to move on, but I did have this faint longing feeling of wanting more of the show, which doesn't usually happen with me. Usually I will finish the show, and then that will be the end of the show, you know? I will sometimes cry, or I will get these big emotional responses, but there's too much art in the world to care about this one thing, so I'll go off into a new thing. Um, I can remember back when I was younger, this almost sort of wonderment I would have, where I would watch a show, the show would be over, but the show was so incredible and had such a profound effect on me that I just needed more of it to exist. I just needed more of it in my life. And I think nowadays, with there being just constant information, constant things to keep you entertained and to be impressed by, you go on Kiss Anime and there's masterpieces everywhere, you don't need the uh, one masterpiece or there to be more of it. In fact, you need the masterpiece to be shorter because there's too many masterpieces to consume and you have this existential dread that one day you are going to die and that's a problem so you need to consume everything now. Um, so the, the mindsets have definitely shifted and I think as a consequence of that we've lost some of the appeal, some of the charm of when you're younger where you appreciate things way more deeply simply because there's less of them, simply because there are less of those amazing experiences. When you get one, you absolutely want more of it because it was that profound. Um, for me, it has to be a mind-expanding level of art, you know? Uh, to feel that way nowadays. Like when I watched BoJack Horseman all the first three seasons, I haven't seen season four yet, surprisingly, because there's been just way too much art I've been consuming. Again, we're getting into this problem. But with this show, um, after I had watched the first three seasons, it had affected me so much that I just wanted to watch more of it. And that was the time where I, where something like that really hit me. And uh, that show hit me hard in a lot of ways, um, emotionally and in terms of the way I was thinking at the time. Uh, so it, it was an incredible experience. But you are not going to get BoJack Horseman every day. You, there's only one. You can only ever get that once. I don't think there's a single piece of art that can compare to how amazing BoJack Horseman is. So um, that... You, you can't have the mind-expanding art all the time. You can only happen to have it a few times. You can get a lot of masterpieces, and those masterpieces um, then make you not more cynical about art in general, but having so many masterpieces at your disposal will, inevi uh, will inevitably deteriorate their meaning. They're still going to be super emotional and cool for you, but they are not going to be something that you long for more of because there's too many of them. Uh, so, um, the mind-expanding, super amazing, once-in-a-lifetime pieces are going to be the ones that really get me thinking, man, I wish there was more of this. Man, this, this, is, this is just so incredible. I need this in my life. Uh, that's the point.